So today, we're gonna be installing the R Magic front bumper. Oh! <laughs> hey! Already drawn blood. That looks so good. Give me five minutes, okay, homie? And then we'll go for a proper one, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Guess we're going for another walk, but we bundling up this time. All right, we ready. We got long johns, two sweatpants, and like three layers of jackets. We good. Okay, homie, thanks for your patience. He's not patient at all. See you guys when we get back. This one's mad at me. It's because we didn't take a long W word. Um, it's cold outside, guys. It's like minus 29 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's probably the same. Anything below zero is the same, isn't it? Seriously, guys. This guy was built for this weather. Go, Jed! All right, guys, what are we doing? It's so cold, Gohan. I'm not built like you. Look at the way he sits. I'm gonna sit like him. You go like this. This is how he sits. You guys wanna see? Just how cold it is outside. Got this boiling water. Okay, watch. Crazy. So really I'm just waiting on the post office guy to come pick these up. I just can't wait till summer and spring. I actually, he reminds me to take a breather once in a while. So usually, when it's nice outside, I mean, when it's not like negative 35 plus wind chill, I actually enjoy laying in the grass, using him as my pillow and looking up at the stars. Oh, see? Now he wants to come in. Come on in, bubba. Come inside. Go on, interrupt. Dude, this thing is destroyed. What's good guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're gonna be working on the RX-8 because it's been a minute. We're gonna be installing the new front bumper that we got for the RX-8 today. And I'd like to look at this part as being the first piece to our Chimera Kit puzzle. And I like to say Chimera Kit because it is a combination of multiple different kits, not just one, which is what my FRS is basically. Kindly sitting underneath that tarp. That thing is three kits put together. So you got the Varus rear bumper, the body kit for it is the Rallybacker V1, and then the front bumper, which I recently changed from a Rocket Bunny V2 to a Lexus style front bumper. Technically, it is Lexus style, but it's by the company Aimgain. And fittingly enough, the body kit that we're actually gonna get for the RX-8 is called the Lions Kit. So, just like a Chimera. But first things first, we gotta go grab some coffee because honestly, caffeine is a nice source of inspiration and also a really good cognitive enhancer. It helps me do my work, okay? And helps like a majority of all the people on this planet get their day started, so. Let's go. Oh, glasses first things first. I mean, glasses are officially effed. <laughs> Not even like the bandage in the middle nerdy looking. This is just no good. I literally have a line in my vision 24 seven or whenever I'm wearing the glasses, but that's gonna F up your vision even more so. And I definitely have to redo my eye test. Let's head to Timmy's. All right, just gotta move the E36 out of the garage, but then We'll move this guy inside. Probably best to give this a small wash. <laughs> because the fellas were working on other projects inside and had to park this outside. It's just on us. We're gonna be a lot more space efficient inside. What's up, babe? Woo! Move this thing out. Ooh. 
Oof. I have faith. Battery doesn't like that. Oh, praise the heavens. Let it run for a bit. <laughs> Good enough, and then we'll readjust. You know, it's always rev your engine once before shutting off a rotary. Up, just a little bit by little. Let me know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? I didn't know that. That's cool. Ace. Yeah, that's high enough. I'm just working with this front area anyway. We are going to be installing this guy. Oh. The bumper itself I got from Vivid Racing, but let's unravel her for you guys, shall we? This is my first time actually seeing it outside of the plastic bag, so... Yeah, no, this is dope. And you can tell that this isn't no fake Durflex piece of Fika. because it actually has all the holes pre-drilled and the grill itself is pretty high quality. You can also just by physically looking at it, judge that it isn't morphed like some of the kits that we've handled on this channel before. So today, we're gonna be installing the R Magic front bumper. And this guy costs around 1800 Canadian. So pretty pricey, but compared to my previous plan, which was the Veil side kit, uh, which is actually the one I photoshopped on our RX8 concept. That one runs you like well over 2000 USD. So, so I went with the cheaper one. Yeah. So this is the first part of our Chimera kit. So like I said before, why I like to call it the Chimera kit is because like a chimera, which is a bunch of different beasts that create this really cool monster. Same idea. It's multiple kits combined to create one unicorn of a build. And fittingly enough, the body kit that we decided to go with for our RX-8 build is called the Lions Kit. And we actually opted for version 2, which I haven't seen too many people with the RX-8s run. We usually go with the Panda build or the first version of the Lions Kit. Since we're still waiting for our kit to arrive, we'll just do it piece by piece and start with the front bumper. The R-Magic front bumper. This is gonna look beast. Could be just as easy as taking off your front bumper and replacing it. So let's just get started. <laughs> Alright guys, to take off the front bumper of an RX-8, first what you want to do is open your hood. You want to remove this plastic trim on the top here by taking out all of these clips. I think there is about six. And then you can clip some of the fender liners and of course there's a few clips and bolts underneath as well. This is why it's nice to have Angus here, the PPF window PF dude. All of the trim removal tools you'll ever need. I think this one's okay. Oh. Make sure you don't lose those. Just put that aside. You got two 10 millimeter bolts on this side, and then two on this side. And then underneath, I think these are eight millimeter bolts. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? 
but it looks like, yo, chill. <laughs> Dude. But I'm looking at it now and it looks like two are actually missing. <laughs> so looks like we got our work cut out for us. <laughs> hey, these guys lick their own wee wees and then I let them lick my face. That's pretty deep. I've already drawn blood on, oh. Anyways, now we gotta figure out this hosing. What the hell is this? One more step. Just gotta unclip this guy. And of course, had to slice herself on the easiest and the last thing. Um, but this is actually the last thing is taking this off. I just found out about this. RX-8s actually have headlight washers. That's cool. I was wondering what that's for. And actually, this front bumper has one. Wait, is that actually for it? I don't think so. Actually, no, that's not even the same spot. This is just connected to your windshield washer reservoir. Um, but I'll probably relocate it to the center and it'll be for jokes kind of thing. If someone's in front of the RX-8 and I want them to move, I'ma just spray them with windshield washer fluid like a squirtle. So before we install our aftermarket bumper, we gotta take off this metal support that's on the OEM bumper. And that's just attached with four bolts and a couple of clips. I think we gotta remove this. All right, try to. So much better. Yo, look at this immaculate fit. Holes line up perfectly. Just gotta push the bumper in just a little more and attach all the clips and bolts, but you guys get a gist. But damn. Probably end up painting that bar black or something just to hide it. Kinda looks like he has upper teeth. I mean, the thing about all Mazdas is they're just so smiley. This front bumper is no different, but it doesn't mean we won't make the rest of the car super aggressive. In all honesty, that compared to the stock front bumper, so much better already. But also the other thing too is once we get the lines kit in, I'm not entirely sure how the front fender pieces are gonna fit on this front bumper. I mean, looking at the picture side by side on Google, I kinda gauge the fitment. Um, um, it might be easier to fit on this as opposed to the bail side anyway. So again, that's a problem for a future us. It actually didn't come with all the holes pre-drilled. There's a few that I have to do on the side here, which isn't too bad. Uh, just make sure that the top is fully secured. That way it's not shifting on you. You gotta screw a hole here that is hidden behind the side marker. And then just a couple of holes down here. Again, really basic install. But for anyone who owns an RX-8 and is wondering how to install aftermarket bumpers, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys in some sort of way, shape, or form. Uh, we're still waiting on the rest of the wide body kit, as well as we're gonna be lowering this thing on coilovers. And also I'm planning on getting scissor doors for this thing. So don't shame me for that. I think they're cool, okay? And also one of my videos, the one that we installed Lambo doors on the FRS actually was one of the videos that went viral and gave me a lot of subscribers. So I think in retrospect, it's the videos that stir up controversy that actually get lots of feedback, which turns out to be at the end of the day, good for the channel. So what's that saying? Uh, any publicity is good publicity. Uh, even if it's bad. I also plan on doing the wide body install myself, but I'm gonna use the E36 as my opportunity to really finesse my 
technique and my process because I still don't really trust myself. And if this is gonna be our giveaway car, I want this to be a really well put together build. And uh, you guys are actually seeing everything from ground up on this channel so you know exactly what's going into the build. No hiding anything here. There's no such thing as bad publicity. That's the same. Probably save the RX-8 stuff for when we get more parts for it. But for now, I'm just gonna end this vlog. So appreciate you for watching as always. And if you wanna get updated on when new videos come out on this channel, hit that sub button with the notification button ticked. Drop a like and leave some good vibes in the comments and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Mm-hmm. Jeez, man. That was actually so beautiful. It's so clean, too.